Welcome to my Learn HTML5 in 15 minutes tutorial. In this video, I'll be covering all the mainly used skills to use HTML, and by the end of the video, you should have a clear understanding of what HTML is and how to use it. So before we start learning how to use HTML, what is it? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and is one of the two main languages to create basic websites. It is definitely not a programming language and doesn't have loops, if statements, or anything a programming language can do. HTML is the code that defines the structure and the content of a web page, while CSS, which is the other language that makes websites, is to give style to that structure and make it look nice. Both aren't hard to learn, so without further ado, let's get started on the HTML first. Okay, so first things first, let's create a new folder. In this case, I already have one called website and just an empty folder. So behind me here, I have uh, a text editor or code editor and anyone will be fine, but I'm using brackets for this tutorial. And yep, so I have this website folder and all I'm going to do is just going to drag it in so I can work in it. All right, website. So let's click control N and that creates a new file. If you're on a different text editor, you can just click File New. And basically, I'm going to click Control S now to save the file. And I'm going to call it index, index.html. Now, the reason why is because most home screens, home pages, they are called index. And the prefix is HTML as it, as it is an HTML file. So I want to save it. And now we can get started in this tutorial. So I'm using live editing here, which means that whatever that I type on this screen will appear here in like uh, in the browser. So this is uh, a feature by Brackets, which is a code editor. It's really cool, and I suggest you to go and download it. Uh, but if you don't have it, it's fine. Okay. So first of all, let's create the basic layout of how a HTML file will look like. So to start off web page, we're going to type in the doc type, which defines the web page, and then we're going to type in here HTML. And this basically surrounds the whole HTML. It's another tag. And um, the basic layout of the file will have a head. And in the head, we're going to have our title. Now, don't mistake this as like the um, the website title, but it's going to be the tab title. Okay. And we'll just call this here my website. Website. Okay. And in here, we also add. We can also add extra information such as the language, char set, uh, different aspects, but we won't do this in, in this tutorial. And then we're going to have our a body tag. And in the body tag is basically what is going to be seen on the web page. So this includes the header, the navigation, our pictures, images, videos, uh, different things like that. Uh, we'll leave that empty for now. Okay. And in, okay, well, inside of that, we're going to make uh, three sections. So the first section is the header, and then we're going to use the header tag for that. Now keep in mind that this is HTML5, and HTML5 has these new tags, which include the header, section, which is basically the main uh, section of our website, and the footer. You can see here that this is changing because I'm live editing. So that's pretty cool. So usually the header will be where we where we put our logo and navigation. The section is our main content. Our footer is the copyright symbols and possibly another navigation. Let's start with the header. So now we're going to add, learn some more tags. And there aren't actually, well, there are a lot of tags, but there are only a few that you're going to be using constantly. So one of the most common ones you're going to be using are the header tags. So there's six of these. There's H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. Now these of the um these tags they they look different. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go H1. Let's go hello. And if you look on the left, you can see here it's uh pretty big. All right. Now let's change this. Okay, to H2, you ready? It goes a little bit smaller. Okay. Um if we change it to H3, by the way I'm using multi select here. It goes even smaller. Four, smaller, five, smaller. And six even small, the smallest. So this, uh, therefore, you can vary in size and weight. I'm gonna use this as H1, and I'll call this here website HTML. Okay, so that's our header. 
and uh, for our navigation, we're going to make an unordered list. So an unordered list is UL. Okay. So what this does, if you if you make this tag UL, all right, inside here you can make list items. So these list items are called LI. And here you can type in like home, uh, about, uh, contacts, and finally you can also do blog. So that's an unordered list. Now an unordered list only has bullet points as you can see here. If we change this to an OL, an OL is a uh, ordered list, you can see numbers appear. But we don't want that for navigation. Let's change that. Oops. Let's change that back to li. Oh, sorry, not li. What am I doing? Ul. Uh, okay. Cool. So that's like the basics of uh, the header. Now in the section area, we can type in a uh, different, like the content. So let's make a paragraph. Now the paragraph is very easy to remember. It's just a p tag. Okay, and in here we can just type in some dummy text. I'm just going to put some lorem text in here. Oh, that didn't work. Um, hello there. My name is Joseph, and I like to code. So you can see right there. And if we make another paragraph, hello there. You can see there's a line in between, and it kind of separates it, kind of like a paragraph. Now, what if you just want one line break? So you didn't want like two line breaks, you just want one. That's pretty easy. Uh, let's say you want to put it right there, in between hello and there. Now we can use the break, the line break. So we just going to go br. And that just uh, breaks these two words together into lines. If you want like a horizontal line, just do hr, which means horizontal line. Um, see that? Let's put that here. Uh, so I put the HR in between the paragraphs. So right here. And you can see there's a line that appears in between. That's like a little breaker separator. And yes, yeah, so that's the little section done. And now let's edit the footer. So the footer is where basically we type in website HTML. And this is our website name. And then we can put the and sign and that, oh sorry not that, copy. And that basically outputs a copyright sign as you can see right there. And then 2014. We can also edit some elements in this section. So what, if we could get rid of this. And let's say we want to have two sections inside a section. So instead of using another section tag, we can use a div. And now a div is a very commonly used divider. Uh, it's called a division. So we'll call this div. And here we type in here div1. Oops. And here div2. Oops, sorry, div. Now in the, in the next few tutorials, I'm going to be teaching you guys CSS in a few minutes as well. And that uses something called IEDs and classes. So if we want to, let's say, make this one here a color of red and this one here a color of uh, gray, we need to specify them using IDs or classes. Now, to, to assign an ID or class to a div, we can use um, right here, we'll go ID equals, and we'll call this your div1. And here, ID equals div2. So now these two are separated. So that's what divs are. Now, um, we can also add some, I think I want to make this bold, you could use B, so div1, and you can see now it's bold, uh, well, or you can also do strong, that's another variation, so div1. Now for the div2, you can also do italics, so you can do I, and that, that'll make it, as you can see here, slanty, and yep. Okay, so now let's create a anchor tag or a link in uh, div2. So a link is created by an anchor tag. So use the a tag. And inside the a tag, there are a few elements. There's um, href, which is the hyper, hyper reference. And we can hyper reference that to any size of google.com. 
Okay. And here we can just tap in the text of Google. So when we click on that, it'll go to google.com, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's just separate that. Beer. Cool, so now we know how to make links, and that's, that's really easy to make links. You can even give that an ID of uh, Google link. So we can target that when we want to style it. Okay, so now let's make an image. Let's learn how to create an image. Let's make another div with an ID of image. And in my file explorer here, uh, let's make a folder called images. And inside of here, I'll paste in an image that I uh, got previously. So what I'm, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click F2 and I'm going to copy this file, this file name. And in the div, I'm going to use the img tag and use an src. And what src stands for is source. Let's just put, get rid of this. And equals, and this is basically the path. So I'm going to say images slash and then the, the name dot png. Remember the extension at the end. <clears throat> um, this text editor is pretty cool because you can see it sh it shows a preview of the image, and as well as the source, we're gonna have another attribute called out, and this is basically for SEO. And if your images image is unavailable, you can't see the image, it will display the text instead. I'm gonna call this WordPress image, considering this is a WordPress image. So let's close that off, and now as you can see here. Our image is loaded on our web page. Right there, you can see it's pretty big, but that's fine. And if it's a bit big and you want to change the width, that's easy as. You can also change the attribute. So you can go width, and let's go let's say 20 pixels. See, it goes really small right there. That's a bit too small. Let's go 100, 300. Okay, and we could also do a height of. 300. Yes, yeah, so it's a bit not scaled, but yeah, you get the hang of that. So that's how you make images. It's pretty easy to use. Okay, so now we've looked at IDs. Let's take a look at what classes are. So an ID is an individual element. For example, a div of div2 is individual because only this div is going to have this specific styling. Now a class, let's say you have a, a list item, right? List item. And let's give this a class of, let's say, uh, Fancy Li. Now what this Fancy Li does, you can copy this to all the list items. And therefore, all of these, all of these Li's will have the same styles. Okay, whoops. Copy this. They'll all have the same styles. So, um, let's say... Only these fancy allies have italics, so then you can go into the styles and you can change that up. So that's the difference between ID and classes. Classes are for multiple elements, IDs are for individual elements. That's the difference. Okay, now let's um, delete everything from this section again, just so we can keep this clean. And now let's let's look at spans. So let's say you have a paragraph tag. Let's say hello. This, no, my favorite color is red. And let's say you want this red, only this, oh, that's cool, only this word here to be red. Now, you can't just, if we made this paragraph in CSS, made this whole paragraph red, then the whole thing will be red, but we want only this to be red. So that's when the span tag comes in handy. Now, the span tag, span. This is this is a tag meant to target words inside, um, inside like paragraphs or something. So here we can give it an ID, or probably class, because we will probably want uh, different elements to be also red, red. And obviously it's not going to be red because we don't have styling yet. But um, if we did, we can target it using this class. And this this also means that if we, if we want this one to be red. I can space and then go red. 
So that's also another thing. Uh, if you want to assign two classes to an element, basically leave a space. And this also says that one a class can't have a space as its name. Alright guys, so I guess that's uh, that wraps up this tutorial. I hope you've learned something and you've uh, you kind of know and understand what HTML is and how to use it. And uh, stay tuned for the CSS tutorial as that will make this website look a lot better um, by adding styles and making it look just tremendous. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and I hope you'll continue to learn and have fun. See ya.